SEC Media Days continues. Auburn coach Hugh Freeze with us here on the set. Yeah, presented by MyBookie.ag. Code next round for that sign-on bonus. Welcome in, Coach. How are you? I'm doing good, guys. How are y'all? Doing fantastic. Thanks a lot. Um, you're uh, you're experienced in this, but the first time for Auburn. Does it does it feel kind of odd coming back to SEC Media Days after all these years? Uh, not really. It felt a little odd coming to Nashville. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I've never done that. It wasn't quite as crazy in the uh, lobby as it is in Birmingham. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, typically when you walked into Birmingham yep. it was uh, it was it was pretty crazy, but I tell you Nashville was well organized now. They 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 had a plan to get you here and uh, it's been impressive so far. So last time we saw you Regions Golf Tournament, uh, you've got good sun. Did you get a chance to vacate with the family a little bit? Well, we uh, we bought a lake house at Lake Martin and uh, I'm not a big travel guy. Uh, we were supposed to um, – the first weekend there was going to be the July the 4th weekend. We were going to meet there on a Saturday. I did have a golf trip just prior to that uh, that I went on with some of my buddies. And uh, I pulled into the lake house, and 10 minutes at the lake house, and our oldest daughter's water broke. Oh, right. So wow. <laughs> we loaded up and went back to Auburn, and, uh, and she had uh, our first grandchild, so we're blessed there, and everybody's doing well, and – uh, the girls and Jill are all at the lake house right now, and they'll be there for the next few weeks, I'm sure. And uh, Jill and I did go to the mountains last week. Uh, there's a uh, a little cottage in, um, up in the Blue Ridge Mountains that a family lets me use, and um, I go up there and just really try to I try to write out my entire teaching plan for the entire year, um, and I'm big on that, uh, and uh, I think it's a gift that that kind of brings people together and i've done it for a long long time and so i got all that done last week and excited about you know starting teaching that here soon in august be, i want to ask you more about that in a second but do, have you picked out what you want to be called yet are you well, like poppy I big poppy I, I, what, I are you, what are you going i don't with? know how it works poppy. in your family yeah. but i don't get the choice in that <laughs> yeah that would be my daughter's uh yeah. choice and she has chosen coach so oh, I love it, Coach. Uh, that's good. Keep so, used to that. that. Yeah. She so, says she says that's what she's going to hear all all the time she's around me. So <laughs> might as well call me that. So the the teaching plan. So it's really I, I'm sure you have goals for like you know team accomplishments, but it sounds like that's just as important to you to have a plan that you want to yeah. teach your team about along the way. Yeah, th yeah. This has nothing to do with goals. Uh, truthfully, I'm not a big goal setter. I, I just think it's more important about. The, the process of what you're becoming uh, through the day-to-day -day interactions that we have, uh, whether they're on the field or not. And um, so I teach on Mondays um, um, a life lesson, truthfully, and I try to keep it totally away from football until Thursday. <laughs> and, then, and then Thursday I'll take the same theme, so there'll be a theme, uh, whether it's flip the script or kiss the wave or, or whatever it is. And – I'll talk about what that means for us as men and, and life, the good and the bad. I tell them real life stories of when Coach Freeze got it right, when he got it wrong, and uh, I'll ask our other coaches to do the same, uh, so that it hopefully creates some type of uh, transparency and authenticity in our relationships. And then on Thursday, I kind of turn the script toward, all right, this is how I see this affecting this game, and then usually my pregame is tied into that also so they have one theme the entire week that hopefully it uh, relates to them somehow with whatever they're going through in life first and then hopefully uh, our team at, in regards to the game uh we know you got a role here in a minute uh how long does it take you to learn 85 guys names uh the better part of a year yeah do you uh, do the tape on the helmet i mean is that uh, the only way you spring do yeah um, I probably will in fall camp too because we recruited more after spring practice, <laughs> and, and I'm just now getting to know them. And uh, plus the the newcomers, so I might have some tape on the helmets again. I'm embarrassed about that. Truthfully, I wish that was a gift I had. Uh, I tell all of our we have some great young uh, assistants in in training and in uh, nutrition and um, the managing staff, and I just tell them, look, don't be offended. I'm good about, hey, remind me your name and where you're from. And that may take me three times yeah. before I get it. But I certainly wanna, want to get it. But it, it takes me the better part of a year. In this world of college football, uh, recruiting almost never ends for like this year. Are you finished? Would you take more transfers if there were some available? 
that caught your eye? Oh, yeah. Yeah? So yeah. you may not be finished. I mean, this roster may not be complete. <laughs> yeah, I point. haven't seen uh, – let's see, the window is closed right uh -huh. now. So um, they would have to uh, – there's no one currently that was in the portal before it closed that we think we would go on. But if there was a grad transfer or right. something that, that popped open that could mm -hmm. be eligible, or a really young kid that was a difference maker – um, again, though, I've had to uh, – that you know, with the portal being closed, if you go in it right now, I'm not sure what the options are. We'd have to figure all that out. Yeah. Uh, that's, wh that's why I like this guy. I know. Uh, it's a, uh, I just answer. Uh, He's got uh, work to oh, do, Coach oh, yeah. Freeze. Oh, yeah. With us at Nashville. <laughs> thank you for the time, Coach. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> Appreciate you.